Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Charm. And today, you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing Black Book Recommendations Plus Size Edition, honey. Representation is key. You know, I wanna read about women who are like me. And when I say plus size, I'm not talking about the slim, thick situation. I'm not talking about, you know, oh, she a size, like, you know, size 12, or it, it's in the double digits. No, nah, baby, we got 18s. We got size 20s, baby. It's not just a fupa. We got a little belly going on. You know, cause we still out here rocking it, okay? We look good, baby, with an extra little snickum thickums and all, okay? And let's get into it. First on the docket, we have The Lover by Nia Forrester. So this follows Ryan Walker and Spencer Hall. So Ryan is known as the difficult woman she's an independent woman about her business and, and she's accepted that that she's difficult and you know even at her age and in, in her success she's not really looking for a man but she does want a baby and so she constructs this plan or whatever it turns out she has this one night stand with a man that she's familiar with um and he is this handsome good looking very successful man in her mind it's just not for her though. Like that, that's not what it is. And so this one night stand happens and it's really like a ploy of her using it as a way for her to get a baby. But the thing is Spencer finds out and he's like, look girl, don't make me a deadbeat. I'm not a deadbeat guy. And so it's like when he finds out he wants to be a father, he's like, mm -mm, she can't shake him. And so it just kind of follows them in that story of this, unconventional way that these two people are tied together she tried to be on a sneak sneak which you know personally i don't agree with you know because like in, in that instance you can't just go out and try to have a baby by a man that for your own purposes and never say anything go to the sperm donor clinic don't just you know do that with a one night stand and this man has a kid out here and doesn't know it but anyway so this story had a little more depth to it i always recommend near forester um, her background, she lives in Philly, her background, and I think this is in New York, if I'm not mistaken, it's in that area. And so Nia is a lawyer, and I always say that she's also like a sociologist, and she writes about people in such a way, because it was other areas that was touched on, that was in, done in a way that was interesting to me. You get into Ryan's background story, and why she is the way that she is, um, why she is a person who's really not looking for love and the role that Spencer begins to play in her life. And so for this, it's kind of like a, I don't know, I don't want to say strangers to lovers, but that's kind of what it is. Cause they're familiar with each other. She's like, you know, he's good looking. He has a nice job, but like, that's not the one for her, but I, I enjoy Spencer. So yeah, that's that one. Next on the docket, we have Depth of Love by Bailey West. I enjoy the way that she writes. And this story follows Cambria McLaurin, or she goes by Cam, and Morris Owens. So this book is book four of a series called the Valentine Law Series. Cam is a hairstylist. She grew up in a foster home, and she has had not the best experiences with men. Somehow she always turns out to be the side chick unknowingly, not that that's what she wants to do. So she is very curvaceous. She's like your thick, you know, Coke bottle kind of girl. And when people see her body top and see her shape, they put her into this category and treat her this kind of way. And so now she's just at a place in her life where it's like, look, I'm not giving myself to a man who is going to treat me as if I don't have value just because of what my body type is based off of and what it looks like to you all. And then there's Morris. Morris is a lawyer um, in this law firm. He's a single dad of two girls. We love to see it, first and foremost, honey. A fine single dad that's about his business, that's not out here doing any and everything, okay? good heart all of those things like that so love that for him um and he is not really looking for love he's not 
really searching too much for women. He's focused on his daughters, but he has his own Cam. And Cam kind of had this little crush on him, but it didn't fall into crazy. And so the story just kind of follows their friendship. It's slick, kind of like a friends to lovers situations. I love when there are mature characters, you know, not not too much drama, but, um, and, and it is, it's a little razzle dazzle in here. It's a little, you know what I'm saying? It's a little, so yeah, but the characters themselves, their personality is kind of like the mature laid back, not, not too much on a drama type situation. So yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed this book. Next we have Training My Heart to Love by Monica Walters. Now, Monica Walters was kind of my first introduction to this whole world of like black books by black indie authors and such. This follows Caitlin and Zayson. Now, before I get into it, Monica Walter, she writes a lot about plus size women. And like I was saying earlier in the video, it's not just the size 10, size 12, no, size 18, size 20, size up, which I really appreciate. This was a cool read. It's actually book three in a series. I really, really, really love the first two books. It, it wasn't plus size women. And, and I feel like I may have enjoyed this book a little more if I had read those books first. But anyway, so let's get into it. Kaylin um, has always been known as the big girl. She has this mother who is not um, plus size at all. And so it was kind of like this situation where, and she's about her business. She runs like a nonprofit organization. Um, and you know, it's, a good personality and she she you know she's not sloppy or anything like that she keeps herself together she is working on the confidence within herself but she is a situation where you have this mother who is so fixated on flaws and always bringing up her weight and different things like that always really being hateful toward her and she meets this man who is like you know six four all of these different things like that we love to see it and as we get throughout the book, it, it gets a little messy, gets a little deep. Um, and you see kind of like, you know, why this mother treats her the way that she does and different things like this. It is definitely on the spice side. So I thought it in there. Next up, we have Blindsided by Love by Monica Walters. And this follows Aspen and Storm. So this is book one in like a whole series about these siblings called the Henderson siblings. And Miss Aspen Honey is a size 20 plus size queen, okay? And all of these men, all of these Henderson, these guys are big. I'm talking 6'4", six, 6'5", six, six, Listen, listen, what does that song say? I need a big boy. Okay, listen. <laughs> I'm doing too much. Let me, let me really bad, let me really bad. You know what? Let me just read the synopsis for y'all. Hold on, let, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. And she's a 31-year-old freelance journalist living on her own terms, except in one area, which is love. She feels somewhat stuck in an engagement to a man that she once loved until things begin to change once they decided to cohabitate. As their engagement is on the verge of being dissolved, she decides to take a trip to a little town called Nome, Texas to interview farmers. What she doesn't expect is to meet a man that threatens to change everything she found attractive in men. The Seven Storm Henderson is a man that knows what he wants. Being the youngest of seven children, he's used to getting his way. He owns a full service center and a mechanic shop and his family pretty much owns the entire town. One day, what he feels is his destiny drops in his lap, but he soon realizes that she isn't like most chicks he's dealt with. He realizes that she may be too good for him, but that doesn't stop his pursuit. Yeah, this was a, it was cool. I think it was just certain areas that was like, okay, we get it, you mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we get it. Like how many times we gotta say that? So yeah, I mean, it, it, it was cool, it was cool. You know, give it a try. Y'all let me know what you think. Next on the docket, we have Ignite My Soul by Monica, Monica. Monica Walters, okay. Uh, I think this is book three in the series of the previous book that I just talked about and was my favorite by far. This follows Chastity and Jasper. So Jasper is another Henderson sibling. He's the sibling, sibling that's the quiet one. So it seems like he has it all together. He doesn't really say much, 
But oh boy, it's always the quadrants, right? He has so much more going on um, and different things that he deals with that his family does not know about. So one day he's out of the club with his brother or whatever, and there's this one chick, uh, and Miss Chastity, size 14, honey, plus size queen, she is serving their table. And so the Henderson boys, they, or men, are, they pretty much own the whole city. They are used to people and women falling over them, different things like that. So when it's a woman who's not studying them, that's what they love. And that's exactly what Miss Chastity was. She was a waitress who, she's a non-traditional student who is starting out a little late, but getting herself together. She is not a quitter. She's had like life experiences. And she's just trying to wake these tables. Like she, she's just trying to get her check and go home so she can study. But she catches his eye. Um, of course he's trying to holler and she's just like, like, bruh, I'm good on that. You know what I'm saying? But she ends up going ahead and giving him her uh, number and like things go on from there. So it really turns out to be this friends to lover situation, you know, where it's a little different because they are friends, but it's like friends that you know have a romantic interest there. And I think Jasper starts to develop real feelings for her and to care about her. So he doesn't want to mess over her. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was, you know, internally one of those situations where it's like, I really do love this girl and I, or I really like this girl. I want to make sure that I don't mess her over. So I don't want to get into a commitment without making sure myself is together first. And so Chastity is like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I I like him. I'm, I'm really sitting here holding myself back. And so she gives him an ultimatum and like things kind of go from there. And it's been like a eight month span in between, so to speak. And we kind of see how things trail off. I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, recommend that one for sure. Next up we have Heat Strokes by Kima B. All right. I feel like Kima B, she either came out last year or 2021. She was a new to me author and I got into her with the first book that she dropped. I forget what the first book was, but baby, I, Kima B, okay. I might have to do a video on author appreciation because I like her. She was the first author that I saw that dropped visuals with her book characters as well as a playlist honey we love a good playlist to go along with it so she was my first introduction to that and i just kind of enjoyed the way that she um wrote her books and i'm not even a novella person and this one is a novella and i enjoyed it i'm also not a neurotica person but she wrote another erotica book called um this is heat strokes but the other one is called heat waves and i actually enjoyed that but anyway let me get back into it so heat strokes follows Simone and Zion. Simone is a plus size makeup artist, beautiful, beautiful girl, um, who is just really focused on her career, getting herself together. And so she has always been known as the big girl. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's always been known as that. And she has family members and this cousin who has always been like, you know, slim or whatever, and has tried to be in competition with her. And so situation happens to where like, she goes through this bad breakup and she's like, look, I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm good on me. Another one of those situations or whatever. Let me focus on my career. Let me do my fuck this or do my thing. Get on about my life. So she books this gig, if I'm not mistaken, to like do makeup on this set. And she meets a man named Zion, who is a model turned actor. And I forget all of the little details or whatever, but it's like a... It wasn't a one night stand, it was a one night kiss. For whatever reason, they kiss and she goes to him. And he's just like, who is old girl? You know, got him like really messed up over a kiss or whatever. And so he's trying to figure her out, find her and be on this pursuit there. And it like follows them. Next up, we have Let Me Free You by Alexandria House. So this is book four of a four book series um, on the McCain, McLean brothers. I read the entire series and I really enjoyed it. And I think, I feel like this might've been my favorite, one of my favorites, if, if not to speak. So this follows Sage. Min Moniba and Neil McLean. Neil McLean is one of twins. So you, the first book is about the oldest sibling. Second book is about the youngest sibling. Third book is about one of the twins. And this one is about the other twin. He is like more standoffish, doesn't really say too much. I feel like he's hotel. Now, I read this book a while ago, so I don't even really know what that means. 
But like, he, whatever beliefs he got, he really like, <laughs> he's firm in them. So then we have Sage, who was introduced in previous books. And this is a, really a marriage of convenience. I don't want to share too much, but your girl, she about to get deported. And it's just like, what the heck am I going to do? And she's trying to find somebody to like marry her. And I don't remember if it's mentioned in the previous book so they get married or not. But anyway, here is Neil. And so it just follows that. And it, you know, turns out to be that kind of slick forced proximity, obviously, because you all have to be married. And I like Sage and I, I like Neil. And you know, one thing about Alexandria House, she gonna have some spice. So I'm just letting y'all know that right now. Again, as I say in every video, not a Christian fiction, but a good read nonetheless. And that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go down to the link in the description box down below that will link you to my other channels, my other playlists about other recommendations that I have. And again, until next time. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Until next time.